Waking up at 5 a.m. may not be everyone's idea of fun, but to me, it's worth every moment. It's such a peaceful and calming time when everyone is still asleep, there are no distractions, and you have such a precious gift of having a few extra hours to do the things that truly matter to you. Resisting the urge to hit the snooze button is sometimes a really big challenge. It's definitely easier in summer when you can see a bright light coming in through the blinds, but it's still a challenge. I convinced myself to wake up by taking a deep breath and reminding myself why I've chosen to wake up this early. Obviously, this is on a good day where I do everything I like doing in my morning routine. Not every day is the same and as much as I love a productive early morning, I also enjoy sleeping in on other days. I've found that a more structured morning routine is so much better for both my physical and mental health. So while 5 a.m. is not the time I always wake up, I aim to wake up at any point between 5 and 6.30ish to have time for everything I want to do. It's so important for me to start the day on a good note, to fill my cup and prepare for the day ahead. That's why I consciously choose not to go on my phone this early in the morning. I've noticed that that usually leads to me feeling overwhelmed and just gets my mind racing and just overthinking everything. So I try to avoid that as best as possible. The first step is to do my skincare routine. This really helps me wake up and also gets me feeling motivated and ready to tackle the day. I often listen to morning affirmations while doing my skincare routine as I found that it's a great way to just start the day on a positive note. My first skincare routine is really simple. I just wash my face with cold water to wake up, put on some moisturizer to hydrate my skin and that's actually everything. I know that I will probably be sweaty in one or two hours, so while I want to give my skin the care it deserves, there is no reason to overcomplicate stuff just to sweat it right off. I put my hair up in a way that allows it to stay out of my face while working out. Because I will be washing my hair later on, I also put some oil in it. This is such a life hack. If you're going on a run or going to the gym, put some oil in your hair and then when you wash it afterwards, it's gonna be so hydrated. I like picking up my clothes the night before as this makes it easier for me to actually get to the gym. And at the same time, it eliminates the decision-making process from this early morning. I just put on whatever I laid out the night before and I'm ready to go. Of course, I need to fuel up for my workout and for that I am not as organized as I am with preparing my gym fit. So I usually just check the fridge for whatever I can find. This morning I had yogurt with some leftover brownie, which was a really delicious combination. I find simple carbs to be the best source of fuel for an early morning workout because they get transformed into glycogen really quickly. I usually go to the gym around four times a week and over the years I've experimented with going at different times. But for me, early mornings are just the best. Going to the gym means I will go out of the house and get some light early in the morning, which is vital for the circadian rhythm. It also gets me energized and I get to start the day knowing that I have already spent one hour doing something for me. I've put myself first in that time and now the day can begin. Because I am a university student, my schedule is not really time-bound, which means that I usually have time to go home after the gym. But sometimes I do shower and get ready at the gym if I have a lab practice or have an early morning lecture. Because this allows me to save some time but still get my workout in. But today is a day with no time-bound commitments, so let's go back home to get ready for the day. After coming back from the gym, I jump straight into the shower. I don't always wash my hair in the morning, but today it was more than necessary. And it's also nice to take a little bit more time for self-care. Taking time for yourself and just prioritizing yourself for 
just a few minutes is so important and can really change the course of your day. You cannot be there for others if you're not there for yourself. And while washing your hair or doing your skincare or doing your makeup may not be a grand gesture, I feel like these small gestures of self-love are so important. Now it's time for my second skincare routine of the day. This is the real deal now, but I still like to keep it simple. I just cleanse my face, then I use a caffeine cream under my eyes, and of course I will moisturize my skin. This is a moment I always look forward to, which is the post-workout breakfast. The breakfast can go one of two ways. I will either have oats or I will have some bread with anything I can find in the fridge. Carbs are really important, like I mentioned with my pre-workout snack. They are also important after the workout because they replenish the glycogen stores of the muscle and combined with a few sources of protein, they really make the perfect post-workout meal. Surprisingly, I'm not drinking any coffee, but that's for a good reason. I'll tell you in a bit. I've started to switch to blow drying my hair, which takes a little bit of time, but I think it's time well spent. Of course, I use heat protection before, and I also use a leave-in conditioner. Taking a little bit of time to do my makeup, even if it's just 10 minutes, makes the biggest difference to my day. While I do have days where I go out without wearing any makeup, wearing makeup just makes me feel a little bit more put together, a little bit more ready for the day. And I find the process of putting on makeup so therapeutic. It's an extra 10 minutes that I get to spend taking care of myself. And it's definitely not a waste of time. This is the perfect time to listen to podcasts or just think about intentions for the the day ahead. I really found the perfect 10 minute makeup routine for me that is simple enough to be done very quickly, but I feel like it still elevates the entire look and it just makes me feel extra confident. It is now time to go, of course, not before changing my jacket two or three times. But at some point, I finally decide on one. I'm on my way to work in a cafe for the day to start getting productive. Also drink my coffee. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.